It started off as a bridge to nowhere, but now it's a bridge to somewhere. Just north of the Suncorn and Syncrude oil sites, the famous Peter Lahey Bridge stands connecting the northern oil sand sites to Fort McMurray. When the bridge was originally constructed in 1982, there was no development further north, which led to the moniker Bridge to Nowhere. But the bridge spurred activity and triggered an energy boom as developers like Shell Albee and Sands under the Al Sands project were able to build a third oil sands plant at the time. The Athabasca was the main transportation route north to all the mines at that point. So you could come up here on to, by a train or by Highway 63, but even at that point Highway 63 was pretty new and Highway 63 was still just building north at that point and really that was the next step for 63 was to build that bridge. The premier that actually was in in the 70s, uh, Peter Lougheed, was the one who really wanted the oil plants developed, but he wanted it done in a way that it would be sustainable in the future. So instead of having a bunch of companies come in, set up all at once, get a ton of money and leave, he actually instituted a heritage pit land and he put money aside for the future and he taxed them more heavily so that the province would get more money and it would slow down the development and it would be more of a long-term job creation rather than just a short-term boom. Without this vital link, the booming oil community and oil sands developments north would cease to exist. Improving the highway network in Alberta is paramount to this northern community's growth and looking back, this bridge to nowhere has finally become a bridge to somewhere. With the McMurray Milestone, I'm Doug Roxburgh.